Hey, eighth graders. Uh, two new lessons today for math. We're continuing the trend of similarity. So lesson eight is similarity and nine basic properties of similarity. And for whatever reason, I feel like it always does that to you guys. I don't know why. <laughs> so similar triangles. So similar triangles mean that the angles are the same and that the measures or it says corresponding angles are equal. And so here we have A over D, because those are the corresponding angles, would be equal to B over E, which would be equal to C over S, which then would also be, e or which would be similar to A equals P, B equals Q, and C equals R. So basically if you were to put numbers in here, so we'd say, uh, three and nine, one and three and five and 15. All those are equal to one third, okay? So another example here, same thing, angle measures are gonna be equal and then the lengths are going to correspond. So a couple of basic properties. Similarity, it's a symmetric relation. That means that if one figure is similar to another, such as S to S, then we can be sure that it works backwards. Similarity is a transitive relation. That means that if we are given two similar figures, S is similar to T and T is similar to U, so that means S must be similar to U. So now we're gonna look here. One of the things that you'll be asked to do on your assignment is to find what the missing length is. So let's say that we don't know what 15 is here, okay? So we know if we put 12 over four, we get three. Nine over three is three. So what times five gives us, or what five times three gives us what? So then you'd be 15. And it could be the other way too. So we could say um, four over 12 is one third. Three over nine is one third. And then five over what is equal is one third, okay? So your assignment is to complete the Edmodo questions for lessons eight and nine. Let me know if there's any questions or concerns. Um, and as always, have a good day.